Let's simplify these imaginary numbers. First, we need to review something. We know that i equals the square root of negative 1, and i squared equals the square root of negative 1 squared, which is negative 1. Now, when we simplify these, I want to make it so I have an i squared to some power. So let me show you what I mean. i squared to the second power gives me my 4. Well, why I wanted i squared is that I know i squared is negative 1. So I just substituted negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1. So i to the fourth power is actually 1. Do you see how that's working? Let's try another one. i to the seventh. Well, I know that i squared to the third power is 6, but I have 7 of them. So I have to multiply by another i. 2 times 3 is 6, so this is actually i to the 6th times i is i to the 7th. Remember, i squared is negative 1, and that's why I did that. It's still to the third power, though, times i. Negative 1 to the third power is negative 1 times i which is negative i. So i to the seventh is negative i. Let's do a little bit larger one. Still, I still have i squared. Now, if I take it, this to the 12th power, I know that 2 times 12 is 24, and that's the closest even number to 25 I can get. So I still need to multiply by i. I'm going to substitute negative 1 in again to the 12th times i. Well, remember, any negative to an even power is positive. So this is going to give me 1 times i, which is i. So i to the 25th is i. Let's go to the next one, i to the 44th. Once again, I'm going to take i squared to some number that gives me really close to 44, and actually to the 22nd, because 2 times 22 is my 44. So I'm going to have negative 1 to the 22nd power. Well, negative to an even po not power is going to be even, so my answer is going to be 1.